welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to be doing a comparison between two DeLonghi machines. We're going to be looking at the new DeLonghi Prima Donna Elite and the DeLonghi Dynamica Plus. <laughs> DeLonghi Prima Donna Elite is a brand new machine from DeLonghi. If you haven't checked out our review on that machine yet, you can check it out just by clicking the link up top here. The Dynamica Plus has been out for a few years and we have also done a full review on this machine as well. You can check that video out up here. Both of these machines have a lot of very similar features and functions like user profiles, a color display, onboard grinders, front loading water reservoirs, and automatic frothers. They do have a lot of differences though as well. Um, the Prima Donna Elite is going to have a manual Panarello frothing wand as well as having the automatic milk system, whereas the Dynamica Plus will only have the automatic milk function. You won't be able to froth your own milk. The uh, Prima Donna Elite will also have six user profiles total, whereas the Dynamic Plus will have four user profiles. Both of these machines also have Bluetooth connectivity, so you can connect to DeLonghi's app, where it has a ton of really great information. It's very easy to go in and customize your beverages in your profiles, go through your menu settings, and also do some of the uh, cleaning functions that, that the machines require. Uh, we're going to brew a couple of beverages on each of these machines. We're going to brew a coffee beverage or espresso beverage, and then we're also going to brew a milk beverage. On the Prima Donna Elite, I'm going to use the frothing wand so you can see how that one performs. These machines also have different price points. So the Prima Donna Elite is sitting at around $3,000 Canadian, um, and the Dynamica, Dynamica Plus is sitting at around $2,100 Canadian. Both of these machines are demos in our Burlington store, so you can always pop in to have um, a taste and to use the machines as well. But let's get brewing on both of these machines. I'm going to brew a long coffee on the Dynamica Plus first, which is going to grind and brew twice, uh, producing a like an eight ounce cup. It's going to be similar to like your Americano style coffee. So it would be your morning cup of coffee that you would have if you were like a traditional drip coffee drinker or you wanting a, just a big cup of coffee. And then we'll do the same on the um, Prima Donna Elite. They should taste the same. We have the same beans in both machines and they have the same grinders, but they may taste different because they are different machines. So we'll go over here first and I'm going to scroll through my menu here. On the Dynamica Plus, you have a full touch screen as well as some sensor buttons at the bottom. So you have your beverage menu display up top, which you will click on to select which beverage you want, your size or length of brew, and your strength selection. This is also how you'll access any of your user profiles. So if you wanted to swap between profiles, you would go into this menu here and select which profile you want. So scrolling over in my menu, I'm going to go to long coffee here. I'm first going to select my size and I'm going to make it just a large. And then I'm going to go to full strength because we always go full strength. Now I'll just click long. So we've got an extra strong, large size, long coffee. It's going to grind once and then brew and then grind again and brew again. We're gonna have around eight ounces, maybe just a little bit less. You can stop brewing at any point in time if you're like, oh, you know what? Actually, I changed my mind. I want something else. Or if you didn't ha realize you didn't have enough beans in your hopper or anything like that, you can stop the brew process. It's going to be relatively slow in brewing. It is using kind of like a pulsing function um, to fully extract your coffee. It's going to brew really, really hot. You can see my mug is steaming up. And it does take, um, it takes a little bit to brew this coffee because it is very strong and flavorful. Both of these machines as well will have the two plus one year warranty through DeLonghi. So if you register your machine online, either of these units, you're going to get an extra year of warranty, um, which is fantastic, totaling three years, which is great. You don't get that with any other machines. Uh, DeLonghi is the only one that's offering that length of warranty for a super automatic machine. There's our second grinding. 
The volume on these machines is average, it's moderate. Um, most super automatics hover around the same kind of volume. But yeah, for your warranty on these units, it's fantastic. We are a service center for DeLonghi under warranty, so if you do purchase one of these machines and you need to access your warranty for whatever reason, if you're local to us, you can contact DeLonghi, they'll give you a ticket number, then you can come to us and have your machine serviced, which is fantastic. Uh, knock on wood that you'd actually have to access it, um, but if you did, then you know where you can go. So the large size is definitely looking like it's a little bit smaller, probably closer to around the five ounce mark, which is actually quite good for me. I like a stronger brew. Um, and you can see on the screen here, visually see how far along you are in your brewing process. Really great. So that's it for this machine. Um, that would be your long coffee, your morning coffee. The crema looks really nice. I like this machine a lot. It's one of my favorites. It smells good. It's very hot. It's very hot, but very, very yummy. Um, neither of these machines have the Americano function. It would be a two-step process on either unit, brewing your espresso and then your hot water. Just a note, because I like Americanos. All right, moving on to the Prima Donna Elite. I'm going to brew the same beverage, do a little bit of a comparison in flavor. Um, I'm going to do the same sizes, so everything stays the same. So I'm going to go to large, and then I'm going to go over to my strength and go to maximum strength. Now I'm going to click long coffee. Extra strong, large size. It's going to brew the same way. They sound audibly the same. Um, their bean hoppers have the same gasket ring, kind of to keep it locked in place, keep your beans fresh. The Prima Donna does have a totally opaque bean hopper cover, whereas the Prima, uh, sorry, the Dynamica has a tinted one. So it's still going to protect your beans from the UV rays of the sun, but it's just not totally opaque. Right, so we have our long coffee from the Prima Donna Elite as well. You can, t I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it illuminates your mug when it's underneath it and while it's brewing. And then once it stopped the brewing process, the light turns off. It's just something, it's a little nice, it's a little sweet. So we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test here. Same beans, same beverage, same size, same strength, same grind size, everything's the same. Different machine though. It tastes exactly the same. Yeah. Yep, which is what was expected, um, but also good that it was confirmed by doing this taste test. So I'm going to go through the beverage menu a little bit as well because the Dynamica Plus does have a few more beverages that the Prima Donna Elite does not have. So since the Prima Donna Elite does have a smaller beverage menu, I'm gonna go through that one first before jumping over to the Dynamica Plus. On the Prima Donna Elite, you have sensor buttons just located on the side of the machine screen here. So this front panel in the middle is actually not a touch screen, it's just a display screen. All of the buttons that, you're, that you use to navigate are going to be located in the black. So going through the menu, we have the most used beverages on the outside, cappuccino, latte macchiato, latte, just milk foam, espresso, Coffee, which will be more similar to like a lungo. It's not going to be your long coffee. Long coffee, which is what we've just brewed. And Dopio Espresso, so that's going to give you a double shot. If you go into this menu right here, you have more beverages. So we have option for steam. Cappuccino Plus, which gives you more espresso in your cappuccino. Cappuccino Mix, which brews um, it does the brewing cycle backwards. So instead of doing your milk first, it does your espresso first. And flat white. So everybody knows we love flat white here. Espresso macchiato, just hot water, which you would get out of your um, steam wand spout. And then, or just your steam wand, it's also your water spout. And then double espresso, two times espresso. It just doubles the portion of water, doesn't double the um, espresso at the the grinding. So th those are the menu selections for this machine. Um, 
The nice thing about having a steam wand is you can kind of customize to your heart's content. You can add as much milk or as little milk as you want, steam to whatever temperature you want. You can kind of, you can't really play with the foam amount, but you can to an extent. Um, so you kind of have, you have more customization that way. And of course you do have more user profiles. On the Dynamica Plus, we have a much larger beverage menu. So I'm going to scroll back to the first menu screen here. Espresso, coffee, cappuccino, latte macchiato. Those are all the same. Long coffee, hot water, hot milk, flat white, cappuccino mix, doppio, which we have on here too. Now we get into some of the ones that we might not have on the Prima Donna Elite. True brew over ice. The Prima Donna Elite does not have that. You can still brew um, and make a beverage and make it iced. You would just brew your espresso over top of some ice. It'll taste a little diluted. Add in some water or maybe another shot. I would recommend maybe brewing a doppio if you're doing it that way to save some of that flavor. You have cafe latte, two times espresso, cappuccino plus, espresso macchiato, and coffee pot. So the two beverages that you do not have on the um, Prima Donna Elite are your coffee pot and your True Brew over ice, which I find it's a little interesting that they didn't include it in this unit because it is one of their newer beverages that they've introduced into their lineup and it's been a really big hit. So it's a little, yeah, I find it a little funny maybe that they didn't include it in this machine. Going back to the front screen, whoop. There we go. So you have two more beverages on the Dynamica Plus than you do on the Prima Donna Elite, one of which is used very frequently, the over ice option. The other one, the coffee pot function, we find that customers um, don't use it all the time. It's nice to have sometimes, but it, since it brews beverages so fast and so quickly and makes so many amazing beverages, people end up using just, you know, this person wants cappuccino, then latte, then just espresso, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to make some milk beverages now. I'm going to use the Latte Crema system on the Dynamica Plus, and I'm going to use the wand on the Prima Donna Elite. Grab some other glasses, grab some milk, and I'll be right back. So we're gonna brew some cappuccinos. We're gonna start first by brewing on the Dynamica Plus. So we're going to use the automatic milk system on the Dynamica Plus. If you were brewing on the Prima Donna Elite, it would brew the exact same way. And it is the same latte crema system, so you would get the same quality of foam. The latte crema system is really fantastic. Um, both of these machines have the newer version of the latte crema system, which is more compatible with alternative milks. Still not going to froth exactly the same as cow's milk, but definitely does a better job. So let's go over to our Dynamica Plus. I'm going to select the large size. Actually, I'm gonna go extra large because I can always stop my milk if I want to. And then I'm going to go extra strong because I always go maximum strength. And then I'm just going to click my cappuccino. It's going to tell me where to put my dial on my milk frother. I have mine set to the correct place um, or where it's recommending me to put it. You can put your, your uh, dial wherever you want to. You don't have to listen to what the machine says. It's just like a, it's a suggestion. So this is going to brew the, the milk first and then brew the espresso over top. Always best to use nice and cold milk for these beverages as well. I'm glad I selected the size that I did. And with both of these units, um, what I really like about the beverage menu is it'll put your most used beverages at the front of the menu screen. Now on the Prima Donna Elite, you do have what would be the most used beverages um, from, the, from most of the customer base, just on the outside. But then on your inside menu, your extra beverage menu, your most used beverages will go to the front of the screen. Just a little something nice. and it doesn't interfere throughout profiles. So if you customize it on one profile or use a beverage a lot on one profile, it's not going to transfer through to any of the other profiles for either of the machines. Okay, so that's my cappuccino on the Dynamica Plus. We got really nice frothy foam here, nice layering effect. 
Mm. That's very hot. Oh, it's good though. Yum. That's really nice. All right, I'm going to do my cappuccino now on my Prima Donna Elite. So since I have the option on my Prima Donna Elite to froth as much or as little milk as I want, I'm going to try to replicate it as best as I can. Um, but I'm also going to maybe try to get a little bit of latte art, so we will see. I'm going to brew espresso first though. I did Doppio um, before. I'm going to do just a regular espresso this time, I think, and just put it to the regular like size. I, I think this is small size. And then I'm going to put it at maximum strength. Oh, so medium size. So it goes small, medium, large, extra large. Once this is done brewing, I'll be able to steam my milk on my milk wand. This is a really nice Panarella wand. I was actually very impressed with it um, the first time using it. It made very nice texturized milk. And you can heat it up as much as you'd like or to the temp exact temperature you'd like. So you can really customize and play with the milk um, when you have a want. Also really great for alternative uh, milks too. So if you are somebody that's going to be using some oat milk or using some almond milk, both of the latte crema systems will froth the alternative milks well, but a wand is always the best option when looking at alternative milks. Okay, I'm gonna go to my steam. That is nice and warm up there. And this heats up very quickly, so I'm gonna get my jug in place and click steam, and this is all I need to do. Now I just stand here while the machine steams my milk. The wand is a little mobile too, like you can kind of move it to the sides and stuff so you're not standing awkwardly. This is heating up really, really quickly as well. So you can make this milk as hot as you want to. If you're an extra hot latte drinker, then a wand is always the best way to go. I mean, like that cappuccino from the Dynamica Plus was super hot. You're just able to get even hotter with the steam wand. So I'm gonna stop it. And that's it. Okay, so we've got our nice frothed milk. It does a really nice job actually for a Panarello wand. I'm usually not totally dissatisfied with the Panarello wand, but this one, I don't know, it just is really, does a good job. Just swirling it a bit to smooth it out. Oh, dropping milk on the floor. So I probably could have gotten some latte art, just not on a roll this week, but um, these are the beverage comparisons. So you do have a nice layering effect with the Dynamica Plus uh, cappuccino. With the Prima Donna Elite, you, we don't, we definitely mixed it together, but that would be like your cappuccino mix since we did our espresso first. So I'm gonna taste this one now. Um, I prefer that myself. But I think it's just because you've got like some of the crema in the foam. So I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I like it from the wand a little bit more. The, the wand gives it a creamier texture. It just does. Um, but both cappuccinos are delicious. You're not gonna be un unhappy with your cappuccino when you press a button, walk away, and it makes it for you. What, how could you be unhappy with that? Um, both machines as well have a two liter front loading reservoir, which is fantastic. They have relatively the same size bean hopper as well. Um, I think it's around 250 grams, and they both have bypass chutes as well for your pre-ground or decaf coffee version. Um, so you'll just use the scoop provided, put it into the, uh, the bypass chute there, 
The Dynamica Plus is asking us to clean the milk system. It's very easy to clean the milk systems on the Doangi. You will turn your dial over to clean, draw water in through the reservoir and just spit it out into a mug. Um, the Prima Donna Elite, I would say, is definitely for a larger family to start because you have so many user profiles um, with the connectivity to the app as well, you're able to really customize. So if you have a lot of people that are going to be using the machine, then this is definitely the one. Also really great for people that want the Steam Wand. Like I personally really like the Steam Wand um, and I like the option to do both because sometimes you might not want to steam your milk in the morning and sometimes you might. So it's really nice to have both of those options there for you to have a one-touch cappuccino or to really customize and make your beverage your own. The uh, Dynamica Plus is also, you could also for a household, like with multiple people using the machine, um, but you just have less user profiles. So the Prima Donna Elite is just offering you more. It's offering you more profiles, which means more customization. Um, but you do, they do take away the true brew over ice function. So just keep that in mind maybe. If you are somebody that's going to be looking between these units, are you gonna be drinking a lot of iced coffees? If so, maybe a machine that offers that for you is better. Are you somebody that has needs the six user profiles? Then maybe the Prima Donna Elite is better for you. Do you wanna have um, the wand option, then the Prima Donna Elite is the option for you. Are you never going to use the wand and you just want to press a button and walk away? Well, either machine is the option for you, but with the Dynamica Plus, you will have just the automatic milk function and then also the hot water spout there. As I said before, these guys have a two plus one year warranty through DeLonghi. Both machines are really fantastic. You're not going to be um, dissatisfied with either one. They're both amazing. The price points are different. We said it at the beginning of the video, but about 3000 Canadian for the Prima Donna Elite and about 2100 for the Dynamica Plus. So, you know, do you take your pick? Um, both of them offer quite a, quite a lot. Um, the Dynamica Plus is a little bit of a different color too. You've got more of a gray look to that. And the Prima Donna Elite is very, it's striking. You've, it's a lot of like stainless features on it. it it's very, very beautiful, very modern. Um, yeah, fully customizable, super automatic espresso machines from DeLonghi. We love them. I love both these machines. I like the wand. I like that they brought the Prima Donna back. So yeah, if you liked our video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with us. Follow us on all of our social media channels right here and check out the blog that we have. You can access that through our website. We've got a ton of really great coffee knowledge content for you to read through and learn and all of that fun stuff. So we'll see you next time.